Oh, hi there. Buongiorno, everyone. Ciao. Bonjour. Dobre den. I'm sorry. So, book shopping. Yay! Ooh, my tea. Okay, I'm prepared. Coffee. Ugh. Tea. Found. Let's go. Oh, book shopping. I don't like this blue right here. He doesn't look aesthetic. Let me. I'm gonna put him down just for a second, just for the video. He's cute and I like him, but I didn't like the color blue in the background. Say bye to everyone. Bye. I'm so weird. Okay, book shopping. It was not necessarily book shopping, but maybe like a book hunting and just visiting bookstores in England. Apparently I'm in Poland. I'm in Poland and I missed it. I missed my bed, I missed my room, I missed my mommy, I missed my tea. I recorded the book haul video from England, so you can check it out. I'm gonna link it probably down below, or maybe not, I don't know. But I also prepared a video for you from book hunting, and I will share it with you, with you all. So, of course, the footage that you will about to see is from England, of course. But I'm doing here like a like a overview, you know, just to talk to you, share my thoughts about the bookstores. So let's go! While I'm talking, you're gonna be seeing the clip. Um, the first one was Forbidden Planet. That was absolutely amazing. It was a shop for geeks, for nerds, for someone like me. It was not only a bookshop, but it had basically two floors. One floor in the underground. Underground were books. It was full floor of books, like the first floor. The main floor, basically, were gadgets. So were like toys, figures. Um, pop figures, uh, clothes, and other things for nerds. And that's what I bought my dragon from Game of Thrones, my Viserion. I'm trying to convince myself that I don't need too many things, but it's getting hard. Because I think I need them. It was so hard not to buy things, honestly. Especially, you know, I'm a geek and I collect weird stuff. I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in and I don't want to fit in. Meaning like toys and figures. That's weird. But I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about books. Second one, numero due, was Gosh Comics. Another comic shop, another graphic novel shop. Here I bought something. Did I? I did, right? Oh yeah, I did. So, I came here literally like 30 minutes ago and I'm already thinking about buying two. And that's just the beginning. I've been through like only three shelves. Oh yeah, it was beautiful. It also had two floors, underground and the main one. Graphic novels, what can you tell? Comics. It was so many things there. So many things. Manga, graphic novels, comics. Marvel, other stuff, in love, absolutely in love. I do want to make many things, but I mean, I'm not gonna have any space left in my suitcase, so I need to be smart. I have to be smart, but still, of course, I'm buying something. Third one! Uh, foiless, foilies, foilless, foilless, foily, foilless. I'm sorry, English is not my first language, please don't judge me. This one was really cool. Oh, yeah, it was really, really big. It had like five floors, and I'm not sure if that was five, five? Well, anyways, it had many, many floors. And they had everything there, like, literally everything. Each floor was dedicated to a different topic. I, of course, spent my time, the most of my time, in the children's book section, because I loved middle grade. Uh, and fun is it too, but, like, I tend to read more of a middle grade fantasy than young adult fantasy. Um, and they had so many books! It was so frustrating! 
the other floors were like dedicated, you know, to the science, art, um, self-development, uh, languages. So it's not like you would spend hours on each floor. It just depending from your preferences. I was not that overwhelmed. So, we're gonna be running away from this place because we still have one more book store to visit and god damn, it's taking too long. The last one closes in 40 minutes. So, I did not buy anything. That's good because one, I don't have more money. Two, I don't have space left in my suitcase. So don't be overwhelmed if you go there. It's literally an amazing place. If you're gonna get tired, you have a kaif You have cafe on the top, so it's perfect. Perfect. And the last one was water stones. Yeah, I'm so mad about I'm not really mad about this one, but sad a little bit just because I didn't have much time because I did all the book hunting in one day and I left this one for the last one and I got there when they were closing. But I still got to see a little bit of it. Like, I was there for 20 minutes, I think so. And this one was huge. This one was literally big and I couldn't see the whole place, so that's a pity. <laughs> but it's still, it was still nice to see it, because this is one of like the cool bookstores to see in England. So I am happy that I did that. bookstores too but I didn't record that I could that's it one day for bookstores so that's it that's it that's it that's it by the way I look so academic today don't I all right that would be it I hope you liked my book hunting video my a library discovery, not the library, bookshops discovery, and that will be it. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Remember to smile. Remember to drink your water, honey. Drink your water, okay? Not too much coffee. Sometimes you can because coffee is good. I mean, tasty. I don't drink coffee. Drink whatever you want, but also remember to drink water. I'm being caught again. Thank you. Bye.